Hello boys and girls and welcome to another video. Uh, this time I wanted to try my Honda CB500X, uh, how it's like uh, for a longer journeys. Uh, I'm gonna make around uh, 600 kilometers uh, you know, in a one day and I'm gonna report my findings about uh, comfort of the Honda CB500X for uh, longer trips. Uh, so far my impressions uh, of this bike uh, were positive. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how it's like uh, comfort wise and uh, power wise and handling wise uh, uh, for this kind of uh, longer type of journey. Uh, this is a uh, main entrance to Plitvice lakes, uh, one of the most popular lakes in Europe or I would say the biggest Croatian touristic attraction now. I'm uh, already uh, a couple of hundred kilometers uh, in my journey and uh, so far so good. I'm not feeling any soreness, I'm uh, brand new like I just uh, sat on the bike. Uh, CB500X is not lacking a power I can overtake uh, car, bus, uh, cars, buses, uh, trucks, uh, whatever on the road without any issues. I even have a couple of kilos of luggage. Uh, not nothing too bad. Not too bad. Like uh, two side cases, maybe for uh, up to I don't know two or three kilos of uh, clothes and uh, dry bag with uh, some electronics uh, cameras. Uh, drone and uh, things like that uh, cb 500 x thumbs up so far let's go to hit the road Okay guys, so uh, I'm in the middle of my journey and uh, I just want to report uh, my impressions uh, of the Honda CB500X as a long distance touring machine. Everything is working fine, bike is uh, doing uh, very well. Uh, I'm very happy with the bike. The only issues that I'm having at the moment are uh, sudden wind gusts uh, and they shake the bike uh, left and right. Uh, it's uh, actually uh, ex as expected because uh, this is a light bike after all but uh, this is the only thing that uh, kind of bothers me at the, uh, at the, at the moment it's nothing uh, dangerous it's nothing uh, serious uh, it's just uh, you know surprises you uh, sometimes and uh, you have to be prepared for that so uh, that's all good. Another thing is uh, I'm riding a bike uh, mostly between uh, uh, five and 6,000 uh, RPMs uh, and uh, uh, I can feel a little bit uh, handlebars are shaking. I can feel vibrations at the ends of uh, handlebars. I do have these foam grips which help a lot but I can uh, feel a little bit of tickling in my hands uh, so uh, that's something uh, uh, to consider also and uh, I can add one more thing but we already know that uh, wind protection on this bike is not good 
and uh, I will definitely need to invest uh, in some kind of uh, taller windscreen to protect me against the wind so it would be good if uh, if the, for my uh, height it would be a couple of uh, inches taller and uh, maybe a couple of inches uh, wider as well uh, I did find uh, GV uh, windscreen has that option and also since when I was on uh, my first service with the bike uh, I asked the Honda dealership and apparently there is a taller uh, original uh, Honda windscreen so uh, I'll see you know uh, what the option uh, would be the best fit for me but yeah so far so good uh, I'm really happy with the bike uh, my main concern was a lack of power on open roads you can see these are quite fast roads you can drive uh, around 100 kilometers per hour slightly more slightly less but uh, in that range and honestly bike is not lacking the power it goes just fine uh, overtakes just fine uh, commanding position helps with uh, uh, overseeing traffic uh, in front of you you know and uh, great bike uh, so nothing major or critical to complain about uh, fuel mileage is awesome uh, I'm, uh, you can see I'm, I'm riding on open roads and I, I have uh, like a 2.9 uh, liters per, per 100 kilometers and uh, just to add, um, I wasn't driving this bike conservatively. I was uh, re some at some uh, sections uh, pushing it really hard. So yeah, so far so good. Bike is uh, performing very well, and I hope it will stay like that. Uh, I'm gonna continue my journey for uh, three, four hundred kilometers more, and uh, that will be it for today. Uh, I'm riding from uh, North Croatia to South Croatia and uh, to my base uh, Neretva Valley and then I'm gonna ride around uh, the area for a couple of days uh, and uh, explore beautiful scenery like you can see over here uh, Croatia is a beautiful country and um, uh, really really uh, enjoyable to ride on these roads even though you know traffic uh, can be pretty dangerous here because there as I mentioned in one of my previous videos Croatia is really lacking uh, a driving culture anyways guys I'll talk to you later I'll report uh, just before I uh, finish my today's trip I'll report uh, all my impressions about the bike talk to you soon so guys uh, this is what you want to try in Croatia there's a plenty of uh, meat, pa uh, meat and cheese pastry really traditional in Croatia part of Tur Turkish culture and uh, one of the So guys, uh, <clears throat> I'm almost uh, close to the end of my journey today. Uh, it's been a long journey, seven hours in a saddle, around 600 kilometers in total. So I want to conclude this video with uh, my thoughts about uh, Honda CB500X being a long distance touring machine. So as a first thing, uh, I would say that uh, I won't say, I mean, we all know that this is a pretty good bike, uh, especially considering the price. Uh, but I want to just say uh, that uh, I want to say a couple of uh, things that uh, could be improved on CB500X uh, regarding long distance touring. So, uh, first and most important factor 
uh, for being able to do long distances is uh, ability to, you know, uh, prevent uh, wind buffeting. So Honda is uh, not doing a good job in wind buffeting uh, and preventing wind buffeting. So that's the the first thing uh, that would need to be fixed, uh, uh, or with a higher, taller windscreen or something like that. To prevent wind buffeting so that's uh, for long distance touring you need to be able to uh, glide uh, without uh, wind uh, disturbing you and uh, here wind is uh, disturbing pretty much so that's a, that's the first and most important thing uh, for long distance touring that needs to be fixed on uh, Honda CB 500X second uh, uh, thing uh, by importance would be uh, uh, vibrations of the handlebars uh, you can uh, lower down vibrations by putting these uh, hand grips uh, foam grips like I did and it's actually doing a good job but still there is a couple of uh, you know you can still feel uh, a little bit of vibrations not 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 bad but enough to kind of bother you for long distance uh, rides uh, and uh, third thing is uh, the bike is uh, uh, light, light, since it's light, you know, that affects uh, its uh, handling on the higher speeds. Again, nothing too serious, nothing to uh, be worried about. It's just uh, if you're gonna travel around uh, 80 to 100 and uh, 120 kilometers per hour, uh, you can expect, you know, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, bike will, will, will uh, change its direction unexpectedly. Uh, caused by a wind, you know, in the lack of better word. Uh, so uh, it will it will shift slightly left and right. Other than that, uh, comfort-wise, uh, mileage, fuel, fuel consumption-wise, totally okay bike. Uh, it's uh, totally capable of doing long miles, uh, long hours in the saddle. Uh, totally, totally good bike. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, change this uh, windscreen to get a better protection from the wind and that's I think uh, one single most important factor uh, that needs to be changed uh, for this bike to be long distance tour touring machine. My fuel mileage is around uh, 3.54 liters per, per 100 kilometers per hour. That's totally acceptable even uh, I would say excellent. Uh, along my journey I stopped to, to refuel only once and I have uh, almost half of the tank still left. So uh, I could easily go another like uh, 200 kilometers or even slightly more. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is uh, uh, on the higher speeds and if the, if the road is a bumpy a little bit you know since uh, suspension is, uh, I would say, soft, the bike can bounce a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure can this be fixed by uh, tightening uh, suspension a little bit or maybe adjusting it better. I do have a couple of kilos of, uh, I mentioned that, uh, of luggage uh, and myself around 90 kilos. So um, it's most, more, I mean, that, that, that's, that, even though that, those are average specs, uh, bike could be slightly, you know, uh, I would prefer it to be more harder uh, on higher speeds, 100 plus kilometers per hour. Bike can, you know, bounce a little bit in a, in a turns, in corners. Uh, nothing serious, nothing too bad. If you feel uncomfortable on on, on those, that kind of bumpings, you can always, you know, lower speed and you'll be you'll be uh, okay. These. Uh, uh, Dunlop uh, Trail Max 5050 uh, tires are uh, actually quite a good surprise. Uh, I mentioned already that I'm not a big fan of Dunlop, but uh, no complaints uh, for warm uh, tarmac, uh, warm asphalt. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. They're they're holding nicely. I was uh, pushing it uh, just to see in a few couple of corners and. Uh, if they're warm, they're, they're you know, uh, fully, fully uh, keeping, the, uh, keeping the bike's line, you know, in the corners. So, guys, I'm gonna 
chill out for the rest of the day it's been a long journey uh, I've enjoyed every uh, kilometer with this bike this is excellent excellent machine uh, like if you any bike you know there are some things you need to kind of uh, adjust to yourself it's hard to say for everyone but for myself personally my next uh, investment in this bike will be windscreen uh, this is something you know this bike is lacking and I hope Honda in the next uh, versions of CB500X will uh, add a little bit more uh, protection from the wind you know I would like to see as I mentioned a couple of inches here a couple of inches here side side protection rest than that bike is uh, actually pretty fantastic pretty fantastic considering its price range uh, I'm, I, uh, I own a BMW R 1200 GS and that's the bike I'm, I can compare it to because I own it for a couple of years now and uh, I mean GS is GS of course but uh, considering the price difference this is bike definitely that comes close to the G uh, to the to the G big GS you know in terms of uh, seating position comfort and handling again I do have a sheepskin on and uh, it helps a lot with the uh, comfort with the with, uh, with uh, you know uh, not feeling uh, tired after after a couple of hundred kilometers uh, at the moment I'm uh, riding on a around 30 degrees Celsius so it's pretty warm day and uh, sheep skin is ventilating nicely so I feel comf comf comfy and I you know even uh, after maybe in the middle of the trip practically I move uh, move myself a, a, a little backward to be on a, on a you know a wider uh, part of the seat anyways I'm gonna wrap it up guys thanks very much for watching and I'll, I'll uh, I'm gonna say thumbs big thumbs up for a little CB500X this bike is a phenomenal bike uh, it doesn't lack in any space uh, to, to the considerable level the worst part is uh, wind buffeting that you can feel around your helmet but that's easily fixable and uh, honestly speaking 90% of bikes uh, have that issue so Honda did a great job I really really hope I'm gonna put many miles on this machine um, it, it can be ridden aggressively it can be ridden slowly I'm super amazed with this bike this is truly uh, you know great bike and uh, final words uh, is it a is a CB500X a long distance touring machine I would say definitely yes definitely yes uh, with a uh, couple of uh, cheap improvements you can make this bike uh, uh, to fit you perfectly for long distance touring I definitely recommend this bike uh, for uh, long distance uh, rides so guys uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask uh, I'll answer them uh, the, the best I can and uh, thanks many many thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you all in the uh, next videos if you like uh, my videos please consider su subscribing and supporting me that way uh, have a nice day guys and I'll talk to you in next video take care guys